Hello everyone. So today I'm gonna add a couple pictures from the XT3, and then this time using also the Capture 120 uh, Pro. So let's get started. And then the first thing I'm gonna do. Uh, last time, uh, some of you have some feedback about the layer adjustment layer. Instead of doing the whole thing as a sharpening, we can do what we can do is. Um, um, let's add the adjustment layer. We can just name it like uh, sharpening Sharpness um, I can just name it like that and then do the brush So what I'm gonna do is increase the size of the brush basically just around the eye area press the M on the keyboard just uh, slightly on this area Increase the sharpening a little bit Basically, just on the focus area. And um, we can do the one that later on, so around the edge is fine. And we can use a multi-layer also, if it's uh, a lot of edges, uh, you can adjust like that. And uh, I tried the skin tone uh, mask also, uh, thanks for the viewer, the feedback. But um, I'm just doing some simple uh, adjustment for now. And um, this one is just a sharpness. So I'm press M again, zoom in. So what I'm gonna do is, so this time I separated that. Um, so amount uh, radius, I'm gonna reduce the radius. You can see the radius uh, in charge of the sharpness threshold. I'm gonna do it around the smallest one. So luminance um, is already zero, so I left it zero, so you can see that uh, noise reduction, leave it zero. So um, let me try, so before and after. Yep, so the amount, I'm gonna increase a little bit more. And radius, you can see the radius. If it's too much, is too sharp. Um, we can uh, put it around one. So it based on the different uh, situation, you can see the difference, uh, and the sharpening applied to the uh, earrings also is much sharper. And in this case, uh, it won't sharpen out the un unfocused area. So this case is good. And you can see the from the far away is uh, sharper in the front uh, plane. So next one, I'm gonna just click on the background, add a couple of the exposure. Oh, sorry, too big the exposure. Let me increase the contrast, brightness, and then highlight safe. And then the next one I'm gonna do is do a 4x5 crop. So the capture one works nicely with the Fujifilm files. And so around this area, just give some room on the left and right. Um, by the way, I changed my mic uh, today. So the microphone I updated and then I changed some uh, audio filter. Hopefully it sounds uh, louder because some of you feedback that the mic is too low volume so i did some research on how to do the mic uh, on the youtube so that it uh, have a louder voice so um you can see that the sharpening is good increase the contrast and the profile you can change uh, to so the basic one right now i think is the classic chrome um, you can see that it's a classic chrome style. Um, you can change the different one based on your feed. I'm gonna uh, leave it leave it with the classic chrome. It's nice that it has a sunset uh, style right there. And then increase the contrast a little bit more. So yeah, I think this is good. And then um, I'm gonna copy... Let me see, what's the next one? This one, I'm gonna do the similar thing. Let me do a uh, 
brush layer add the sharpening layer So around the front, so around here is fine, and then I'm gonna do the adjustment right now. After I found that you can make it more naming uh, consistent, but I'm gonna give a sharpening on this file radius we can reduce you can see the radius is different you can see the much bigger radius the sharpen but uh, it sometimes it's over sharpened by the radius threshold i'm gonna reduce more uh, you can see the threshold it changes the sharpness i'm gonna almost to zero is fine because uh this is fine uh, and but sometimes it's too much. Uh, I've set it at 0 0.1. Luminance, um, I leave it at zero for this. So you can see that, let me show you the before and after. So that's before and after. Yep, so I think, I don't know if that was our focus also, but um, all is because of the Fuji Raw, but um, there might be some our focus area also. But um, the sharpening also sharpen the our focus area um, around the face area as well. So um, pretty good. The logic from the Capture 120, the engine uh, for the sharpening is pretty good. And then I'm going to highlight save some basic uh, updates for the contrast. Slightly reduce the brightness. You can see the brightness is controlling the center part is similar to the shadow you can add it a little bit brighter but the highlight save uh, you should save the highlight more so that it's not overblown the whole uh, thing you can slightly reduce the white also okay Okay, so that's good, and then I'm gonna do a cropping in here. So the cropping right here, the ratio you can see that is four by five uh, right now, and then I'm gonna crop it like that. And let's try one with a strong uh, backlight, uh, this one. So this one, we don't need a lot of sharpening because it's a soft light right here. But let me try it, let me just give it a try. And then since uh, we are here, um, I'm gonna do a adjustment layer. Just uh, give it a try from this area. Just uh, let me see how it goes. It might, this one um, is uh, the, because of sun failure, it might be our focus a lot in here, but let me update the sharpening among in here. And then the radius threshold slightly reduced. It's hard to see uh, the difference for this one, but because it's the sunlight, so that's before and after. You can see that the earring has updated. The airing is much sharper in in this case, um, but uh, in this case uh, it's not too much a difference. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, update the basic. Uh, so I'm not gonna do it here. I'll update the basic contrast. Oh, the previous picture. I think I was doing on the adjustment layer. That's why it was not updating the overall picture. So let me go back and then update the other ones. So yeah, this is the thing that to be aware of, uh, just uh, it was not updating the whole picture. That's why um, that one, it was showing 
only um, only that certain area was changing so let me finish this one and then go back to that one to update because um, you can see that adjustment layer I'm gonna clean out to zero highlight save okay so this one just in charge of softening and remember to click uh, the background right here and reduce the brightness overall increase the contrast so it is more natural for this case and then the highlight save you can see the background is changing right now so it's more even uh, in this case right here and the saturation we can add some more saturation right here but uh, we can do a white balance also um, we can update the different white balance uh, let's check out this is definitely too cold daylight uh, fluorescent cloudy is fine the cloudy one is good for the um, so either cloudy style or as short I think I saw it was the same as the cloudy it was on the cloudy mode also so this is good um, so it's good to know that um, this is uh, be sure to click on the background um, because I this is my uh, early work on the um, capture one so I still have to get familiar with the interface I'm still have the Lightroom uh, subscription also so what I'm gonna do right here is uh, do a layer and just do some like sharpness so it's more clear on this one and then I'm gonna um, just on this here Okay, so that's uh, good and then if you want to use an eraser you can update that on the edges also if you don't want so it depends uh, like how detailed do you want the edge so I think for now it's fine uh, most of them uh, let me go back to here just on the edges okay so next uh, sharpening among radius threshold right here radius slightly reduce among we can give more so the advantage is that uh, the background remains soft and then the noise reduction won't affect that okay so that remain one is fine so let me zoom in and then do a before and after just show you some difference yep so before and after yeah definitely on the on the earring is more uh, visible but from the far away is uh, better too um, definitely the sharpness is better and um, I'm gonna click on the background just do some regular exposure um, update slightly reduce the brightness and then highlight safe so that the sunlight uh, is more is softer and we can increase the black also so it's more like um, high contrast in this case and the color editor if you want certain color that in the invisible like uh, try to reduce the saturation you can do that also but right now i'm going to do just um, update the cropping leave a little bit of the sun on the top right there and um, let me slightly reduce down a little bit okay so that's good okay the last one I'm gonna do is the backlight silhouette uh, style and this one it might be a little bit out of focus uh, but uh, let me just uh, for the sake of testing this um, just give it a try I'm gonna increase that just to see if I can save this uh, 
uh, backlights. I'm gonna sharpen around the edge of the area. You can see that. Um, So the edge should be sharper. Okay, so that's good. And then click the M on the um, keyboard. Among, let me sharpen a little bit more. Radius, we can do a big radius because it's... Um, okay, so that's good. Um, let me try the before and after. So see the difference. Yep, it's a big difference in here. In this case, you can see that it has some out of focus, and then it's much sharper in this case. So yeah, it definitely work and uh, better. And I like the, how the rendering uh, of the color initially better than Lightroom. So it's a very nice tool if you are Fujifilm shooter. And then um, I'm gonna do the last one, last adjustment, just uh, cropping back down to four by five in here, and then just do a rotation slightly right there. And in this case, uh, right there, right here, and then save it. So yes, uh, hope you enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up. Bye.